Hi, everybody. How are you doing? I'm excited. I'm with an amazing gentleman. You wonder who this amazing gentleman is? I'd like to know who this amazing gentleman is. Who is this amazing gentleman? I don't know. Let's find out. Who is this amazing gentleman? Uh, my name is Mark Pearson, and I guess I'm the amazing Mark Pearson. He is amazing. You know why? Because he's the reason why I went to the Grindstone Theater for improv. He's the reason why I found such a love for storytelling in speeches and in humor. Mm. And I find I like his humor. Don't tell anybody that. <laughs> so much. I want the mic right here. So, Mark, tell me now. You've been involved in humor a lot. How has humor helped you in your day-to-day -day activities? You know, it's interesting about humor, about building on humor. I have a secret to tell you. When I was little, I had no idea how to be funny, even in the slightest amount. <laughs> it was a mystery to me to watch people do it, and I had no idea how to do it. But over time, I think I started to get the hang of it. And I remember when I first, when my first humorous speech I did in Toastmasters, uh, another member looked at me and said, I had no idea you were funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thank you, I think. I mean, yeah. It was, it was a compliment, but it would kind of, uh, you know, said something that I hadn't really displayed it. And so the more I did it, the more I found out that I had a bit of a gift for it if I could come up with a good story. And I did, and I won a humorous speech contest for the club, then area, and then went to the division. And the competition there was amazing, so I didn't, you know, win that. But it was still one of the most exciting things I'd ever done to get in front of a like a hundred people and tell my wow. humorous story, uh, titled "My Day in Court," which based on a true, absolutely true story. Uh, going to court for a day to uh, observe a court case, begin preparation for suing. Somebody who did not pay his bill. And uh, yeah, in the end, I told my story about my day in court watching these guys. Unbelievably, you would never believe this. Everything I said was basically true. And I went to court and I sued this old cudmudgeon of a lawyer and I won. And he was, <laughs> yeah. You sued a lawyer and you won. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was, a, he was a, quite a character. He came into court and uh, I didn't, never met him before. He was the owner of an apartment building. I remember the court clerk said, uh, who are you, sir? says, who am I? I I'm uh, Walter C. Peabody. I can't remember his name. <laughs> so everybody in town knows who I am. Right. And I, was, I didn't know who he was. I'd never seen him before in my life. But it was, became a basis of a super humorous speech. And that was the beginning of writing humorous speeches, which I actually really enjoy if I can is find the right, uh, right material. And so writing a humorous speech, in one way, is like, oh yeah, I can do it. And a lot of times, I know I have found, it sounds good in my head. I run it down, I'm thinking, oh, this is gonna be really hilarious. And then when I say it, it's like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So how do you make a humorous speech sound humorous? Uh, it's, uh, it's a good question. I, sometimes I've written it and rewritten it and rewritten it over again. Uh, and just, you know, you use a grain of truth sometimes in what you're doing. I, mean, I did my tall tale, for example, where how grandpa invented ice cream and saved the family farm. And it was my grandpa was Norwegian and had lived on a family farm. And I, I just built on that and just made up the rest. <laughs> and the rest. And so it was it was fun doing it. So I you know, I think I have a bit of a gift for it. I do. I just don't exercise it enough. It's oh. it's hard to focus on it. Um yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun doing humorous stories. And I like the story aspect of things too. I mean jokes are good and they are. They're fun. And if you can do a good joke, there's nothing like it. In fact, would you like to hear one now? I would love to hear a joke. Would you like uh, to hear a joke? Awesome. What? Yes, okay. kids, you want to hear a joke? Okay, you don't go. Right. <laughs> this is one you may have heard before. Uh-oh. Now, an Irishman, he walks into a bar, 
walks up to the bartender. He says, bartender, bartender, I want you to pour me a double whiskey around for everyone in the house. And while you're at it, pour yourself one too. And the bartender said, well, thank you very much, sir. After everyone had had their drink, the bartender said, well, sir, that'll be $100 for that round. And the Irishman looks at him and says, I can't help you there. Don't have a penny on me. Completely broke. The bartender said, excuse me? Ah, you heard me. Have not got a cent? So the bartender grabbed him physically by the seat of the pants, rammed him through the door. Out he went. Next day, the Irishman walks back in the same bar. He walks up to that bartender and says, Bartender, I want you to pour me a double whiskey around uh, for everyone in the house. None for you. You get violent when you drink. Oh. <laughs> nice, 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 <laughs> nice. Mark, that was awesome. Thank you Thank so you. much. Don't go drinking with him. <laughs> and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Push those buttons. And I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care, everyone, and have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.